for um, the rules and the reason it says learn is because that is kind of an acronym to help us make sure that we know what these are. So a couple of things that I want you to remember is if you're not here today or this is your first time coming in um, to this classroom, then you have this information and we'll know what is expected of you. So our first rule is to listen the first time and take immediate action. Our second, so that would be the L in learn. Our second was enter or is enter and exit the classroom silently. So there's our L for learn, our E for learn, and our A is always do your best. I get that everybody's best looks different, but I do expect you to come in and give me your best. The R is raise your hand. We don't just shout things out. So raise your hand and be respectful. Raise your hand and be respectful. So there's our L-E-A-R. Our last one is N, which is no excuses. If you didn't do your homework, you didn't do your homework. It, like, you didn't do it, okay? Come to class prepared. It means a pencil, you're going to need it. And ready to learn or, or participate, learn all of the above. All right, the next thing you're gonna be looking at is our expectations. Things that we are going to be making sure that happen, kind of our routines and expectations, things that should be happening um, in the classroom. So in entering the classroom, you're going to line up against the wall outside. So line up against the wall outside the room and wait for the teacher to allow you in so I will come and let you in if the door shut I'm I'm dealing with um, other things and so you will line up outside I will come and get you when it's time to come in if you are not in your seat working on bell work when the tardy bell rings you will be marked tardy some of you guys like to get up get, or come in chit chat talk with your friends I will mark you tardy if you're not in your seat Okay, so that's how we enter the room. Now, obviously, if I'm working with someone and you guys come in late um, because of the fact that I'm working with somebody, then that's different. That I'm not going to mark you late. But if I'm there and you guys have plenty of time, I will mark you late, especially if you're standing around talking. So once class starts, make sure that you get all your needed materials. You'll need a pencil, pencil or writing utensil every day. Um, you also need to pick up um, your binder. And hopefully, I mean, we'll have it on the board what you need. And then be in your um, assigned seat. Working on bell work. If you're not in your assigned seat, I'll also mark you tardy. We don't play musical chairs. Sit where you're supposed to sit. All right, so now class has started. So we're going to be taking notes and doing different things. You need to stay on task and I expect you to participate. So stay on task and participate. So you are going to raise your hand. That's one of our rules too. Raise your hand to leave. Like if you need to go to the bathroom or have a question um, or to get my attention. All right, so you will have hall passes this year. These hall passes are used to leave the room at all. Go to the bathroom, get a drink, go to the library, go, whatever it is. So when I am not teaching, you can bring me your hall pass paper. I will then sign it. Um, 
So you can put teacher will sign paper if it's a sub, whatever. So teacher will sign paper if it's an appropriate time to leave. You need to make sure that you sign out on the clipboard uh, and take the hall pass. Now we're getting into some of my biggest pet peeves, which is if you finish early, what do you do? So if you finish your assignment early, you can complete Delta Math. That's the first thing you should do. And you'll learn more about what Delta Math is, but that's the first thing you should do. Finish any missing work for that unit. You can silently read. I have a couple of you who will really like to help. You're more than welcome to help as long as it's not a problem. As long as you're not just messing around. Um, or you can try a Whaley Tricky question. And I'll explain what those are as well. We'll get more into those. Okay? So you'll notice on here when you finish it doesn't say mess around. Talk with your friends. Goof off. Goof off. No, you have other things you need to do. All right, and then end of class. Um, I will excuse you. So Mrs. Walker will excuse you, not the bell. You don't just get to leave because I will make sure that everything's cleaned up, put away, calculators are put back. Um, one thing, too, that we never do, if we do get cleaned up for the bell, we do not line up. Never, ever line up at the door. We do not line up at the door. All right, so those are our rules and then some of our expectations or routines.